Hey guys, so uh, I thought it'd be quite uh, cool here to check out the latest Windows 10 uh, build for the Lumia 640 XL. As you know, I did just uh, get this device uh, and review it, so I wanted to check out the latest software uh, which is available for this uh, particular device. Uh, and I am uh, running uh, the latest build here, which is the 10166. Uh, build which uh, uh, is coming after the 10149 build which was quite a big update actually I meant to do a video on it a bit earlier uh, it uh, comes with several different uh, changes here uh, such as the uh, introduction of Microsoft Edge uh, which is supplanting the uh, Microsoft Spartan project browser as well as Internet Explorer uh, it's also coming with uh, Groove Music as well. You know, I had uh, quite a big beef with that particular uh, Xbox Live Music. I thought it was very boring compared to some other platforms. So that's gone through some major changes, and we'll check them out in a bit. Uh, and uh, first things first, as you can see, uh, there are some very nice new transitions here. Everything looks very nice and smooth going into it. I do like this uh, kind of snappiness as well that I'm getting from the actual uh, build here. Uh, I think Microsoft said that they've been through going through some bugs uh, and refining the uh, user experience. So gone is the small little uh, like mouse that I used to see <laughs> in the top left hand corner sometimes. Uh, but we can see here in the uh, actual app section, uh, the apps do look uh, a little bit nicer as well. If you ask me, like the icons look uh, like they've uh, put some more attention into them. Uh, you can go into the search as well, and uh, you can see Cortana is on here. There have been some improvements to Cortana. What is Windows 10? So definitely we'll explore Cortana's improvements a little bit more. Uh, I think you can also use her to send an email now, which is pretty cool in this build. So she can definitely do a lot more than she used to be able to do. Uh, we can also uh, go to the Edge here, Microsoft Edge browser, which uh, I think they're going to be calling it uh, Microsoft Edge as well on the PC so you can see how this looks so you can see it uh, loads the page relatively quickly here and it seems to act like uh, most browsers we do get a uh, reading mode here as well seems or maybe not in fact yes we do uh, we can have a look in the whoa there's the reading mode which is good turn that off So can I look in the uh, settings here and see what settings we do get. So we get the desktop version, uh, reading view font size. So a few settings in here. Probably would have liked uh, like the setting you get on Chrome where you can uh, override the zoom on a web page maybe something to add in there but you can see we do get access to favorites etc here and a reading list and you can quickly add a new tab here as well
it looks like we're using Bing as well for the default uh, search app as well. Uh, I think the Maps has also had a bit of a facelift here. Looks a little bit uh, different. You can see we do have the hamburger menu. And we can quickly search for stuff. So. get a different view there which is quite nice and different uh, view again seems to be quite uh, quick given that this is just a Snapdragon 400 processor uh, so not the highest end phone but uh, it seems to work quite well actually so it's quite good and also obviously we do have this groove music now this is pretty interesting because it seems to have fed like some of my music that I store on uh, OneDrive uh, into the music player so uh, you can see it looks a lot nicer than the uh, the Windows kind of Xbox music which was quite bad if we're to be honest uh, so good that Microsoft is listening to feedback here so I definitely do have a song on here uh, called that but we can just have a look if we can find it. So you can see this has been redesigned as well. Looks a little bit nicer. I can't seem to see the uh, equalizer settings uh, which may be hidden somewhere that I've not explored yet but it, you know it certainly has uh, quite a nicer look about it here and also the store seems to have gone through a little bit of uh, uh, overhaul here now before we did have two stores one was in beta and then you had the old kind of drab store. Now this one looks uh, very uh, interesting because it uh, looks a little bit more refreshed. You can see uh, we can search for things here quite quick. And if we want to search, for example, uh, like something like this, you can see you can quickly click on it there and install it here and then it will go into a queue manager up here and you can quickly access them which is quite good feels a bit less clunky than it was before so that is a definite improvement here obviously we do need uh, them to focus on getting developers on board with some nice incentives so that it's not just the like lick of paint but we're also getting the apps as well uh, but there are quite a few here interesting ones coming through so uh, you know I think uh, if you've got uh, a uh, Windows phone device you could definitely uh, check this out here it seems to be very stable uh, not noticed uh, any major kind of crashes you can see we do have a uh, better multitasking here it gives you like four uh, different things you can go into 
as opposed to before. And the multitasking seems to be quite good. This is just like one gig of RAM. So, uh, also the uh, shade as well. I think they've added a flashlight on there. So, whoa, what's that? You can see we do have uh, flashlight access quite quick. Don't think there's too much in the way of differences with the camera, to be honest. Uh, it seems to be quite similar to before with the layouts, etc. So yeah, I'll definitely uh, do some more videos on this uh, particular uh, update and also this device comparing it against some others on the latest software. I definitely think Microsoft's in the right direction here uh, and uh, yeah, I hope you uh, found this informative and if you did, please leave a like and I will see you on the next one. Cheers.